Hey third graders, today we are going to keep working on our I 3.6, which talks about author's point of view. And one of our jobs today that we are going to do is to learn some of the clue words or opinion words that authors use when they write. When you see these in any sort of an article, you can assume um, that it's a persuasive article or that the author has an opinion or a way that they feel about the topic. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all of these, but if you take a look at these, some of the really important ones, if the author says, I think, I believe, I feel, or in my opinion, you know that they are going to tell you how they feel about the topic, right? Um, if they say that something's their favorite or that something's the best, then you know that it, that's their opinion. You might have a different opinion, and that is something that we're going to talk about today. Okay, um, take a look at some of these clue words because today we're actually going to be writing our opinions. So we're gonna be coming back to this chart to pick some of the words off of this chart to help us do that. All right, let's take a look at an article today called composting. Um, if you take a look at the picture, you can see that somebody is composting. And we've talked a little bit about composting during I know language arts and science this year. And when we went on our field trip to the Berner Botanical Gardens, um, but I'm going to read this article, and then we are going to see if we can find any of the clue words um, to help us figure out how the author is feeling about composting. It says, many families have a compost pile in their backyard. This is a pile of dirt, leaves, grass, and old food that will help with the environment. However, I think that we all need to realize that while this may help the environment, it is really disgusting. Imagine that you're walking through someone's backyard to admire their beautiful new flower bed, but all of a sudden you smell a big pile of trash. Putting a compost pile in your backyard is more disgusting than helpful. Some studies may argue differently and claim that it is truly beneficial to the earth to start a compost pile in your backyard. Would you like the idea of your friends and family looking at a pile of your old recyclable food? Sometimes appearance is more important than taking care of the earth. All right, so that's the article. And today we're gonna to talk about, oh gosh, what is the point of view of the author, okay? So if I go back to my story. I'm gonna see if I can highlight some of the things that the author was feeling. I think that the author says his opinion right here. However, I think that we all need to realize that while this may help the environment, it is really disgusting. By using that strong word disgusting, we can tell that he does not like composting. Let's see, I'm gonna use red or orange, I think, to, let's see if we can see it, yep. Um, so he says, you smell a big pile of trash when you compost. He says it's more disgusting than helpful. Um, he says, I don't like the idea of my friends and family looking at a pile of old recyclable food. And then here, right here, it says, sometimes appearance is more important than taking care of the earth. All right, I feel like now that I've really looked at this article and I have found some different opinions that the author feels, I think I'm ready to go to my next page and start writing about it. If I click on page three, I'm gonna use my tools. Okay, so I'm gonna start by saying the author feels that composting is disgusting, right? It says that right in the article. After I type, then I can move this over to where I want it to go. I know that's a little tricky. I'm going to make it big. Um, let me try another one. Um, he does not want people to come over and smell rotten food in his backyard. I'm gonna click on the hand and I can drag this over. Um, and let's see if we can think of one more. Um, the author 
thinks that it, that I'm going to use the word composting, makes your yard look messy. Okay. All right, so that's the author's opinion. Now, I believe in composting. I think it's really, really important to help take care of the earth. I think that it's really earth friendly to instead of throwing all of our trash into the garbage can to find different ways that we can use our trash to make something new. And that composting is a perfect way to make good soil for your garden. So my point of view is different than the author's. Not everybody feels that way. Some of you might have a different point of view. You might agree with the author, but I do not. So I am going to look back at my words because when I write my point of view, I want to make sure that I am using words that are going to tell that I disagree with the author. Um, let's see. I like this right here where it says, I am convinced. I might even highlight this because I think that's a good one. Then I can look back at it. I might want to say, let's see. definitely. I'm going to say, in my opinion. Okay, so I, I have a good start. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's see here. Use my text box. In my opinion, compost is very important. Okay, I'm going to move it over to my side. What was the next thing? Um, I believe that when you compost, you are helping to keep the earth clean. On the hand, scoot it on over. Okay, I'm going to click back over here and find another good clue word to use. Um, Although it may um, take up space in your backyard, there are ways to make a compost look nice. Unfortunately, it looks like we're getting low on space. That's okay. All right, so those are some of the reasons why I disagree with this author's point of view. I really tried hard to use some of our opinion words over here because those are always clues um, and good ways for you to be able to get your point across. I am going to give you a job right now, okay? We have another article to read. Your job is going to be to read this article on education, okay? You might agree with the author, you might disagree with the author. Either way, it's okay. After you read the article first, just try to read the whole thing through. I want you to use your highlighter tool and I want you to do these jobs, okay? I want you to try to underline the author's point of view. I want you to try to find sentences where the author identifies what college is and use your orange for that. I want you to use your green to underline the sentence where the author describes the importance of college and then blue to underline where the author describes why it is important to go to school instead of playing. Okay, so that's job number one. When you are finished with that, you are going to tell me what the author's point of view is, and then you're going to tell me what your opinion is about education. Okay, you can use the chart over here 
to help you find some keywords, just like we did together. Um, and then try to come up with a, what the author's point of view is on this side and try to tell me what your point of view is on this side. Maybe you'll agree with the article, maybe you'll disagree, and that's okay because everybody's opinion is different. All right, have um, a good time reading and good luck with your assignment. Thanks.